We're going to look at three bugs with SoundForge Audio Cleaning Lab 4. The first is upon startup and some other startup locations is the 101 error. This is a real turnoff for users. I'll add in an audio file, right click on it and open Spectral Layers Elements. Now watch what happens when I press on play. The playback marker moves in SoundForge but it doesn't move in Spectral Layers. I'll do a couple of other tests. I move the playback marker along. It makes jumps, but it doesn't move in time with the playback marker in SoundForge Audio Cleaning Lab. This makes it extremely difficult to edit in spectral layers. The next problem, SoundForge Audio Cleaning Lab is supposed to be an upgrade to Music Editor 3 that comes with Video Pro X and Movie Studio. I've added in SoundForge Audio Cleaning Lab 4 as the external audio editor in Video Pro X. Now I'll right click on the audio file. This is a mix down that I made. I'll select that wave externally. This opens SoundForge Audio Cleaning Lab 4. Gives me the 101 error. Click on OK. Gives me the 101 error again. Clicks on OK. And then it opens SoundForge Audio Cleaning Lab but it does not import the WAV file. It's supposed to. Audio Cleaning Lab 3 did and still does, but 4 does not work. So this is a major bug that you've got with this. Now I'll switch SoundForge Audio Cleaning Lab 4 for 3. And I'll try that one out. Ah, but this is another problem that always keeps coming up. It doesn't refresh the thing, so I have to keep going out and coming back in in order to be able to reopen the audio clip in VPX and in uh, Movie Studio. Okay, here we go again. I'm opening SoundForge Audio Cleaning Lab 3 and it opens but it doesn't show the waveform in the arranger part but it does play back. But I need the waveform. And again, I can't reopen it. So what I have to do now is go out and delete the HO and the HDP temporary files and then come back in. I'll open SoundForge Audio Cleaning Lab 3 and now I get the waveform. So as you can see, there are more problems than the ones that I mentioned at the beginning. I've switched back to Music Editor 3 and we'll take a look to see what happens with that one. Opening the external editor for the WAV file opens Music Editor 3 and the first time I don't get the WAV form. But the audio is there. So I'll close that and go back to the video editor and I can actually reopen that again without getting an error. Isn't that great? At least this works with Music Editor 3. And this time it's going to open with the waveform. So something is wrong the first time round. 